Welcome back to the Booze Buddy Update for Tuesday, May 31st of 2022. It's brought to you by Green Mountain Payments, helping local business owners save thousands of dollars by providing complimentary credit card processing equipment and zero-cost credit card processing. Visit GreenMountainPayments.com or POSN0.com today. Well, canned cocktails and Boulder seltzers are poised to take over your summer. That's according to CNN Business, anyway. If they're right, the cold one more and more people will crack open the summer won't be a beer. One of the latest big brands bottling, well, I guess canning, is a cocktail called Simply Spiked. Yeah, it's uh, they're introducing their signature lemonade, uh, their strawberry lemonade, blueberry lemonade, and waterberry lemon, uh, watermelon, excuse me, <laughs> lemonade to the masses on June 6. In addition, Mountain Dew has been turning into a non-caffeinated beverage, and others like White Claw have bolder recipes. Even Jack Daniels has joined in with whiskey cocktails, and of course, there's always plenty of tequila and canned margarita cocktails too. You can check out the scoop at the link that is in the show notes. And now that grilling season is officially in play, what wines do you pair with that pile of barbecue ribs? What about steak or even the flexible and powerful staple of the grill, the hamburger? If that's not your speed, well, what pairs well with a hot dog? Maybe potato salad or grilled chicken? Thankfully, food and wine has done the hard work for you and has a whole list of the best Zinfandels, Trebianos, and champagnes. Yeah, champagne at a picnic. Uh, that pair well with any of these popular dishes that will be pulled out along with a pulled pork or portobello mushrooms. Get the full list of suggestions at the link that is in the show notes. You may know about the beers that have all the hops or maybe all the malts and some that even balance those very well. But what about beers with fruit? There are some amazing beers out there, fruited sours, creeks and Flanders reds. Heck, there are even double IPAs with peach and mango. We'll talk about that in just a second. The science of adding fruits to beer is old, but like most things, the science on how to do it was a uh, close guarded secret, at least reliably, until it became a marketable thing for companies with a craft beer boom. So now there's few purees and there's flavors that can reliably be added with some simple measuring. That said, there certainly are still some closely guarded secrets in this world. If you want to try a light tart and even sour summer sipper, it's worth looking into this list of classics and the newer ones like Cream Puff or Peach or Cream Puff or Mango from 10 Bends that this article has put together check it out and let me know if you find a new favorite at the link that is in the show notes remember to like comment and subscribe don't drink and drive stay safe drive sober and support the booze that supports your local community and i'll see you again tomorrow